All right, here at NAM 2013, and we are at the MyMix booth. A lot of you guys have talked about MyMix, and there's a there's just a giant plethora of personal mixing. And in the church market, of course, personal mixing is becoming the big thing uh, for musicians because we don't have the ability to have monitor engineers in most situations, but all of the musicians and people on stage obviously want to be able to mix their own in-ears and wedges and different things like this. Uh, the MyMix product, obviously, um, has the ability to do that on multi-levels. This is Carl Nickenig and he is with MyMix and he's gonna show you a couple of the uh, standard products that they have and a couple of the brand new ones that you're introducing here at NAMM. So I'll let you take it away, Carl. Thank you, Van. Thank you again for this. I just wanted to uh, highlight some of the differences in the MyMix product uh, compared to the other product available on the market. So first, you'll notice the user interface. It's a very intuitive, intuitive musician-friendly interface. It's name-based. As you can see, I scroll with the knob through here, and I can, I can set my volume, tone control, which is simple, bass and treble, so you don't get lost in a parametric EQ. There are built-in effects in these units, several reverbs and a delay that you can assign, as well as panning to complete the 3D image to recreate the room in any live setting. As well, each unit can function as a standalone piece or part of a larger system due to two local inputs located here on the back. They're dual combo Neutrik uh, inputs that can provide phantom power. So you can input a, a line level instrument or a uh, microphone, condenser microphone as well. And now that microphone or input source is available for everyone on the network. It's not just a local input, rather you can input a click track for example, and now everyone has the option of choosing that in their mix or not. Uh, that is another differentiator on this piece. Everyone can choose the 16 channels that they want, including a submix or individual channels. Uh, it's whatever they want on the network and as many channels, up to 160, can live on the network. The final and most useful feature for Houses of Worship is the multi-track recording function on each of these units. As you can see right here, there's a record button and what it does is it records up to the 16 channels as they're coming from the board in 24-bit 48K WAV files that can then go onto this SD card as well as a stereo mix down of your session with the effects, panning, and other adjustments that you had during that rehearsal time. It's a great tool for uh, musicians who don't always have time to meet up at the same location to practice on the same system. They can take it home, put it into any DAW, and use it for their own recordings, their own mastering setup. And it's uh, very useful and helps uh, musicians really improve their performance. Uh, the new product that we launched here, it's new to NAM. we've been selling it for a few months now is our MyMix control unit. It's right here. It's a Linux computer that hooks up directly into the switch and also acts as a Wi-Fi point. It's a network management and setup tool that can be accessed from any device that can go on the internet. All I do is hook up to the network, which I'm doing right now. Just one moment while my Wi-Fi turns on. So I would hook up to the network. It's loading on right now. And I would log in through either IP address, which can be assigned, or uh, mymixplug.local uh, name. So I'd go on. Now I can log in. And from this unit, uh, through either my iPad, iPhone, what have you, I can log in. and have total control over every MyMix unit on the system as well as input expanders. This is for high level control over the entire system. You can save and load projects all in very small files and you can recall settings uh, for different setups and performances. So with this it really completes the package as far as control over the system and uh, it's new to NAM this year. Thank you. All right, now just 
A couple little things, just, just to refresh our memory, what are the retail prices of all the, the different components that somebody would want to set up a MyMix system you know, in their facility? Sure. So if you're using 16 channels, first off, each MyMix unit, which can be used standalone, retails for $679. For the input expander, which allows connectivity to either analog or digital boards, um, the analog version retails for $9.99. The analog digital version retails for $12.99. As far as switches, if you're using 16 channels or less, you can use any fast Ethernet switch. It's not uh, limited to what you, what you want. As far as a managed switch, we recommend that for using more than 16 channels. We do have uh, pre-configured switches that we offer for about 680 list. And they come in varying sizes. They can provide power over Ethernet. Depends how big your system is and how much you want to uh, do with it. So those are the prices for the unit, as well as the MyMix control. This retails for $679 as well. And as the and everything is shipping, including the MyMix control. That is correct. Uh, that that is correct. Cool. Awesome. So, if you have uh, a need for personal mixing, this is a highly expandable system. The MyMix stuff has come a long way. It's actually very impressive, and so you should go and find out more. Uh, what's the website? The website is mymixaudio.com. All right, so you should go to the website, take a look at more information. It's definitely worth looking into.